Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. Heavyweight boxing will be back in June in a limited form. Marius Vak being announced to take on Kevin Johnson in a pay-per-view event in Poland. There will be no fans for this event. And I'll get to Marius Vak's statement and then on to a few thoughts because there was the question... Who was going to move first? What was it going to look like? And then the obvious question to ask on the back of that is, how will fans respond? Plus also the matchup itself, Vuck, who's 40 years old, lost a slew of fights in recent years, and Johnson, who's just been a, a walking heavy bag for some time now. So we'll talk about that matchup, but there's the more pressing questions, boxing returning, and what's going to happen? What's it going to look like? How's it going to be responded to? So starting with uh, Marius Vuk's statement, so this is translated from Polish, so you can see here this is the graphic that went up for the fight that's uh, happening June the 12th. So he says, are you waiting for my return between the ropes? I invite everyone to the Palace Gala in Boxing Night where I will face the experienced Kevin Johnson. The gala will take place without the participation of the public on June 12 at the Palace in Konarach, broadcast in the pay-per-view system, possible to buy at this link. And then it links off to a page there. So if you want to check that out, do so at your leisure. So the fight has been announced for June the 12th. And with everything happening in the world at the moment, and some countries are really under the pump, there was the question, when would heavyweight boxing return? What was it going to look like? What sort of fights would it be? And it's going to be um, Marius Vuk and Kevin Johnson. So this is going to garner some attention, some headlines. I'm sure there is people that will be interested in this card, but it's not exactly the greatest fight in the world. And we'll come to that part later. But these questions about pay-per-view here, so no fans. This was probably something that was going to happen because obviously people not wanting to transmit and spread the virus. This will be behind closed doors. The pay-per-view uh, price is 20 Polish zloty, which when converted is almost four pounds uh, at almost five US dollars. And you can do your uh, currency conversion for other places. For New Zealand, I think it was about $7.45, something like that. So in the context of the amount of money, um, for outside of Poland, when you do the conversions, not a whole lot, but when you consider it's not exactly the biggest, best and brightest sort of fight. It is one of these things that, you know, you kind of go, what sort of interest will there be? I think some um, hardcore boxing fans will be interested that this is an event. There's going to be an undercard. It's, um, you know, we've been staffed for boxing. And it'll be interesting as well because clearly no crowd, no ticket sales. Uh, that's going to sort of, you know, drive down what these guys would have been getting. So the pay-per-view is where they're looking to make their money. What demand will there be? It's going to be a test in Poland where Marius Vak is a well-known name, former title challenger. Also, Kevin Johnson, a former title challenger. Both of them very experienced, but clearly on the downslide for quite some time. Vak has lost five of his last nine. Johnson, eight of his last two. 10. So it's not like they have a whole lot of form heading into this fight to sort of get people going, yeah, I want to see this fight. So Vuk is the favorite for this fight. Kevin Johnson, the opponent, almost four pounds, almost five US dollars, 20 Polish Zloty. Uh, yeah, I I'll be interested to see. It's going to be um, interesting to see what sort of pull Vuk has in Poland still. You know, how much can they really generate? How much interest is there going to be? Because on the face of it, it's not a good fight. You know, both these guys are pretty faded and jaded. Kevin Johnson's been a walking heavy bag for prospects galore in recent years. I mean, you've had the likes of Peter Milas, Daniel Dubois, Philip Hergovich, Nathan Gorman, Shigabudin Aliyev, Alexander Zarkozy, Martin Bacoli. You know, the list is quite extensive, and that's only the last two years in terms of prospects that he's fought. And Marius Vak also losing, you know, to the likes of Jarrell Miller. Artis Bilka, Martin Bacoli, and most recently, Dillian White. So it's not a great event in terms of the headline, and I'm sure the undercard's probably going to be a bit thin too because they probably do have some nervousness about what this can actually do. 
Sure, Poland is a country where boxing, you know, is well supported, and I'm sure there'll be some interest from outside of the country too. Uh, there will be some bias, but I don't think this is going to be a mass sort of event, but it's going to give a, a bit of a barometer. If this does okay, you might see Vuk in a couple months doing the same thing again. But if it doesn't really sort of pull in the sort of money that everyone hopes for, you might sort of see these events just uh, on ice for a little while. But this is the sort of return to, um, I don't want to say normalcy, but there's going to be a new normal for a period until things can maybe get back to the way they once were. And that may take the best part of a year or more with social distancing and other things. But the fight itself, Marius Fuck is the favorite. I would expect him to win. He'll probably try to keep it long. Although, you know, he's not an offensive maestro or anything approaching that. Maybe Kevin Johnson will come with a bit of ambition, but at the end of the day, he's being brought in as the opponent. I expect Marius Vak probably to win by a decision, and it's probably not going to be a great fight. I don't have high expectations for it. These guys are pretty rinsed at this point in their career, but it does signal and herald the return of heavyweight action. There is going to be a lot of people that will be talking about this card, but maybe not necessarily wanting to part with their money. Because if you look at this fight and go, well, these guys, you know, there's not much doing here. Is it worth it? People may want to try to catch highlights the next day on YouTube. What do you make of it all? Drop a comment loud and often, hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared, I'm out.